With the latest farm and ranch news, market reports, and more, this is KLBK's Ag Journal, sponsored by Wiley Implement and Spray Center. Hi there and welcome into this week's Ag Journal. This week we're going to introduce you into one of the Panhandle's lesser talked about commodities. Sorghum Sudan is a hybrid grass species known for animal grazing and grain. It can grow between 4 and 8 feet tall as well. It's native to eastern Africa and this plant has now also made a home in West Texas. And one local grower tells me exactly how it fits into his farming operation. This is just a good hay grazer is what it is and it and it's just good cow feed. Hale County farmer Brian Curry added sorghum sudan into his crop rotation as a way to combat the high plains drought conditions over the last decade. We get more bang for our buck out of this and we're, I don't feel like we're giving as much away in water cost. That's because the plant is tolerant to drought conditions and Curry needed to diversify his rotation to keep as much nutrients in the soil as possible. As our water has declined, we're really having to be on top of being very good stewards of our water and, and not wasting our water. But I've really gone back to this because this yields for me and it makes it fits my program better. Curry grows cotton, cucumbers, seed millet and sorghum sudan. And he says by incorporating these seed crops in his rotation, it benefits all the crops. I have cucumbers one year, wheat the next year, then the seed crop and then the next year. So when I plant my cotton into my, the Milo trash, it also has wheat trash in there. So any little rain it catches and it, and it, and it makes my cotton work, work better. Curry says the sorghum harvest will begin in mid-October, around the same time as his cotton. So while this summer has been a lot of hard work, he's optimistic come fall. It's still pollinating, so we're still a long ways off. But we, we honestly have a good opportunity to make a very high yield on this.